Warm weather will stick around the Tennessee Valley for the rest of the week. We're all glad to hear that. Let's check in with Paul Bears. We'll get a definition of warm weather, Paul, right? Well, normal highs around 50, 51 degrees. Yeah. So anything above that's warm to me. Yeah, Good. I'll take it. If it's near normal, I'll be happy with it, in the, in, especially in January. Uh, the winds in the upper atmosphere, see where all this purple is? That's where the, the cold air is. This is the Arctic jet stream. That's going to pretty much stay north of us. So all the real cold air is going to be up along the Great Lakes, and that's going to be powering some lake effect snowstorms, too. Uh, the winds are going to be coming out of the west for us, and that usually means fast-moving systems coming on by. So we're going to see a fast-moving system bring maybe a few sprinkles for it tomorrow. Lake effect snows are already starting to develop off through Michigan, Ohio. It's really going to be heavy duty out in Pennsylvania and New York State. Some showers near St. Louis, most of that's going to stay north, and we could see a few sprinkles for tomorrow, but not a lot. And you can see some of these clouds gradually pushing off towards the east. Some of them are dissipating because the atmosphere is pretty dry right now, but we got enough moisture in the middle part of the atmosphere that we're going to see some clouds hanging by for, for tomorrow. 52 in Dalton right now and in the city, 50 in Dayton and Athens, 42 in Murphy, so a little cooler out there, but those winds are really gusty right now out of the west-southwest about 9, but they're gusting up to 22 miles an hour. So that makes it feel a lot colder, even with temperatures in the 50s. Our high today at the airport was 54.33, the overnight low, and we're about 1.6 inches below normal in rain. So we could use some rain uh, coming up for this month because, as I've said many, many times, winter time and usually late uh, autumn and winter time and spring, if you don't get your rains then, you're going to be in a drought situation probably coming up in the summer. That's why we were so wet last year. So we don't want to get too far behind in rainfall coming up into January and February. 53 uh, for a high today in Dalton and Calhoun, 54 in Chatsworth, also in Somerville, was 53 in Scottsboro. Cleveland at 52, Lakeside, Soddy Daisy, Red Bank, East Ridge, North Chattanooga, and Trenton Hall at 52. 44 up on Signal Mountain with about 46 in a Murphy and Turtle Town today. Dayton was 53, Athens only 48, while it was about 46 in both Cagle Mountain and Alta Mountain, and in the 50s right along the Sequatchie Valley. So for tomorrow morning, we'll see a lot more clouds. We're going to see a nice southerly wind, too. Can have a few sprinkles as that cold front slips in. This is not a powerful front, it's more of a wind shift flying more than anything else, but may get a few sprinkles out of that and some clouds. And then by coming up Wednesday morning, we'll call it partly cloudy skies. Looks like a fairly nice day on Wednesday, dry, and all the rain showers are going to be well out to the west of us coming up into Thursday, too, as we see some of that moisture try to scoot our way into Friday. So we'll see what happens on Friday. That should be the day, uh, the at least Vipercast. 33 tonight, a few clouds for tomorrow, 56, and the clouds will be increasing. Could have a sprinkle or two, but if we get a, a hundredth of an inch of rain, that should be about it. Southwesterly winds tomorrow night, 35, mostly cloudy, so that's not too cold. And then Wednesday looks dry. According to what I've been looking at, I think Thursday could be the day, but Friday, we may have to push it back a little bit into Friday with temperatures in the 50s uh, both, days, uh, both days. Saturday, 51, Sunday, 53, and a real good chance for rain coming up on Monday, too. The timing on these storms is so important when they're flying by with a powerful jet. We'll have more uh, coming up uh, later on today.